Hey guys, it's Corey Bysted over at Bicious RV. I'm here to show you the Cyclone 4006. This is actually my favorite floor plan on the Cyclones. So, um, I'll, and I'll tell you why once we get inside. This rig on the outside, we'll just talk about a few of the features while we go in. It does have a full six point auto leveling system. It's nice, the controller's over there. It's nice because it actually remembers the hitching height on your truck which is a huge plus because then you really, you really don't need a spotter as you're hitching onto this thing. It's a one person job. You do have the generator. Every one of my newer toy haulers stock from the factory are going to come with those. Um, on the, and that's, that's on the front, but this is your storage bay. You get speakers out here. This rig does have Asdale, which is um, instead of gluing the fiberglass to a Luon wood, which can rot, decay, mold, mildew one day. Um, they glue it to a man-made composite to give you that nice hard sidewall, but it's impervious to rot, decay, mold, mildew, and delamination in its entire lifetime. I have a sample of the interior wall construction in my office that's been in water for three years. So um, that says a lot about the durability. You have a grill right here. This part just flips upside down like this and you just kind of like do your thing on there um, very awesome to have these are becoming very popular um, you also have the fridge right here this all lives in that bay on this bay you also have the slam latches which are a metal connection instead of plastic which is kind of nice gives you a similar feeling to that motorhome experience when you close the bay and the lock on here is the m key the same as your door uh, it also has magnets, so this thing just holds itself up once you get, once you open it up. This one does have that. Um, this is a uh, air compressor inside of that little bay. It's pretty cool. So as you get up inside, um, here's your hauling space. This is kind of cool how they did the bathroom. So the idea is you get this little bathroom in here. Now this wouldn't fit a standard side by sides wheel span. So what they try to do is be creative. They let you kind of disconfigure this bathroom wall and then you just close it up like this. Now that scored me about a foot extra that way. Now you can fit a standard side by sides width all the way up to the front and park anything else you want behind it. That's a cool plus. You get some controls up here as well. Um, this is going to be where you extend retract some of your slides, maybe uh, your awning stuff. Um, there's the slide one. These are all lights right here. You get a 110 plug to plug things in. You can lower your beds up above, um, all from this control panel as well. And uh, you get the two beds. They also turn into couches. There's a, and then yeah, that bunk up there. Uh, back here, you do have the sliding glass screen doors. The glass here and screen here. Um, they also open up like doors too, very versatile. They are removable too, if you just want to take them off maybe. It does have the party deck as well that builds around the ramp. So you can have lawn chairs, tables, sit everybody out there, it's very fun. Now as we get into the inside of the rig, this is, this is why I think it's the best one in my opinion. Very unique, um, we entered through the back door because we're too close to the rig next to us to pull out the step. But this is where you're supposed to enter this rig. If you notice, the front door is on a slide out. This whole thing is a slide out and we enter in through the slide out, which is really unique. And it's very different coming in this way because you enter and you just get this different sense of space than usually you do. It's a very good presentation as you arrive. So um, also this is <laughs> massive. <laughs> They don't do this stuff in RVs. Uh, I'm in these all day, every day, and this is massive. It's a huge deal. You can fit more than a month's worth of everything. And then this, uh, well, we, it's still in the wrapper because it just showed up. Um, so this is our refrigerator. This is both gas and electric. It's nice because it's the size of a residential with all of the versatility of both gas and electric. Uh, your kitchen is right here. You get the solid surface countertops, the two tiers, which is nice. Well, actually, three tiers. We have one right here. You get all this storage above, residential-sized um, microwave. Uh, you get this awesome cooktop and oven setup. That's kind of the newer, more popular one. 
Now we get an actual real living room right here. And what I mean by that is it's separated from the kitchen. It's a big square, way better for um, hosting guests. So um, also, um, I believe this one is the bed right here. This one reclines like its legs and so does that one. This one turns into a bed. Um, your entertainment stand, you have the JBL system. This is kind of newer. Um, I love that one. It's very simple to use. You no weird menus to dive into or anything like that. Just get A, B, C. These are your zones for where your speakers output. It's very simple. We'll teach you how to use that when you buy it. Um, 4K TV. This is becoming really popular as well as having a nice TV. People watch TV when they camp. <laughs> and um, you have your fireplace right there. And then up here, we have the um, bathroom. You can enter from both ways, from your bedroom or in from the hallway. That is the most beautiful shower I have ever seen. And uh, this would be the first time I've seen that. They did not always do that color on the wall of the shower. Anyways, um, we have this place right here. You can see out the big oversized windows of your bedroom. You also have these nice windows back here on your king-sized bed. Um, this is the bed. Okay, so... Uh, let me run you through what happens in the mattress side of things for RVs. Usually, they stock the worst mattress you can find on every RV. And, uh, the re and everybody knows that. The reason is because if they spent a lot of money to stock a really nice mattress in one of these, then you would pay for that mattress and it might not work with your body. And you might think it's uncomfortable even though it was a very nice expensive mattress. But it might be the right mattress for the next guy. Who knows? They'd rather stock a really cheap mattress that nobody wants. So you have something. And usually you just go buy your own. And then you get to be picky. And you get to actually spend the mattress money on when you want. Um, this is the nicest cheap mattress I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a pretty funny way to explain it. But out of all the chintzy cheap mattresses they put on, this is actually like a Tempur-Pedic foam, and I would keep it. Um, you have all this storage right here. I thought that was a pole, not a slide. <laughs> Anyways, you have all this area. Um, great for shoes right there, I love that. You get the coat hanger, or well, the rod, whatever you call it. And then we get this, uh, we get these two drawers here. And then we get them over here. We get this storage below. Um, and the reason that these are so shallow is because the other side of this wall. So on the exterior, it's got that bay area. Um, this can have a TV right here. Um, I don't know where it would mount though. There's something under there. Oh, oh, this is what they did. There it is, the TV. What is the, oh, it's motorized, but at least take a peek. We don't have power to this, so we can't roll it up with the switch, but this TV rolls up and covers the window with the motorized switch. And then it comes down, and then you just close the countertop over it. So I knew there was a TV set up. Anyway, so this is the Cyclone. You get, uh, I, well, geez, now I don't know. One AC, two AC, and I believe the garage space is ducted for AC. Oh wow, that's cool. You get three AC units, and then your kitchen is ducted, even though you have an AC in there. So that's pretty cool. Yet you're not going uh, hot in this rig. <laughs> also, we have the solid steps. Those are becoming really popular. I think in 2018, we started stocking everything with those. So if you guys have any other questions about this rig, um, I know a lot about it. You can give me a call and I will help you. Um, 541-735-1535 and uh, my name was Corey Bystead and uh, thanks for watching.